Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point and in this video we are going to understand operations management and in that process design and how it's important. These are all the various subtopics that we are going to cover. The need of process design, the purpose of that and customer specific requirements capturing from process point of view and then planning, uh, execution and then control of a process and finally we will be also understanding the Kaizen that means to say the continual improvement part in the process. So purpose, so whenever we capture the product design requirements from our customer, we need to also capture the process design and the production requirements from our customer because at the end of the day it has to go to the serial production and for a very long time it has to be in the manufacturing condition including the spare parts. With respect to CSR capturing, that is nothing but customer specific requirements capturing, uh, we need to understand what are all the various process parameters that the customer is expecting us to meet and what is the technology in the production that customer is expecting us to meet and what are all the various other uh, cost sensitive uh, related information also that customer expects us to meet. Like it can be something to do with a manpower or certain machines or certain specific materials which he is recommending. Then however we also get a lot of information from the product design point of view and not only that our productivity also plays a very important role. That means to say the quantity plays an equal job when it contains when it's compared with the quantity and quality also. So in planning we need to understand that machine and selection of particular machine is going to be crucial because once the wrong selection machine can give a lot of bad parts and also the maintenance of this particular machine also plays a very important role when we talk about the machine selection. Layout means what kind of uh, production layout you are going to have and what kind of uh, environment for that you are going to have. So are you going to have a single place flow or a unidirectional flow in certain temperature and certain relative humidity. So all these things plays an important role and manpower Certain production and certain manufacturing requires a skilled manpower application. So we need to train them and properly maintain that trained manpower also. Material, so there can be certain items or certain materials which are not supposed to be used in our production. We have to take care of that and there may be certain recommended materials from the customer point of view. We are supposed to use it and we have to consider that requirement also. And finally, the most important thing, the parameters, like in what production parameters or the process parameters that we are going to have this particular process. This plays a very important role because even when there is a minor variation in the process or parameter, then there can be a huge impact on the output that's coming out of this particular process. Sometimes we may have the immediate uh, reaction of that particular product or in the output or sometimes we may get this kind of reaction or detection of that after several years when this particular product is in the field. So we need to be sensitive to all these various requirements when we are talking about the process design. So from execution point of view, of course we need to uh, manage as per the procedure that has been agreed and as per the work instruction that has been clearly laid out like what is to be done and what is not to be done. So if this happens, what is the next further actions that we are going to take? So all these things plays an important role during the execution. So from control point of view in a process, we have to take consideration certain inputs from the control plan and also from statistical process control to have an efficient control over the process. Measurement system analysis, uh, this needs to be there prior to the SPC and also we need to start the process in a right way that means to say the setup the starting should be good then only we can able to easily sustain the quality of the process that we are handling and in process also that is also called as the patrol inspection uh, during the complete processing at every stage we need to have the consistency in the product quality that we are going to get from the particular process not only the consistency, we need to also be as accurate as possible to the theoretical specification that is coming out of the drawing itself. So this is a Kaizen, there is nothing but continual improvement, Japanese word, here it can be done in two different ways. One is in the proactive way through the re-engineering, value addition and value engineering 
and one more is the reactive approach where based on a complaint or based on internal defects that we are going to do a lot of improvements in our process. So both the ways are possible to do the Kaizen's. So once we do all these things, we need to also document the before and after conditions. So to conclude, we understood the importance of process design and why it makes a lot of sense when we are into a production environment, when even productivity target is also very, very crucial. And we also understood various aspects of execution control and then continual improvement related part in the process. So that's all in this video. Thank you so much.